Ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is Morning Forex Technical Report, where I take a look at some of the technicals driving the markets. But before I get into that, uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about the fundamentals. Today, we have Fed's Powell uh, speaking at 1240 today. This is the first time post the hike. Uh, remember last Wednesday, the Fed hiked by 25 basis points. But since then, we've had the U.S. jobs report, which showed a huge $517,000 uh, Five hundred seventeen thousand increase in non-farm payroll jobs, plus a seventy-one thousand increase in the uh, revisions to the prior month. So that's close to six hundred thousand new jobs that I don't think the Fed chair anticipated uh, uh, from that report. Uh, so we'll see see what he has to say as regard to uh, potentially uh, raising the terminal rate or the extending the amount of time that the Fed uh, uh, keeps rates moving higher and then keeps rates the same uh, going forward. We'll see what he has to say. Uh, again, he speaks at 12.40. We've had uh, Neil Kashkari, the Minnesota Fed president, already speaking today. He's been a little bit more hawkish, and that has the dollar moving back to the upside here. So let's get into some of the technicals. We'll start by taking a look at the euro versus U.S. dollar. Looking at the uh, euro versus U.S. dollar, as mentioned, uh, Kashkari uh, was speaking this uh, morning, early this morning, we started to see a rotation back to the downside in the euro versus U.S. dollar. After a, a, a move higher in the Lo European London session that saw the price move back above this swing area, at least briefly, uh, The uh, this swing area is defined by a number of different swing lows. Going back to these dates right through here, it's sort of a fall uh, making a nice little floor here before the market started its rotation to the upside and trading. Yesterday, we came down to that and went just a little bit below it before rebounding and closing right around the high end of that swing area, 107.11, 107.24. And as you can see in the Asian session, the market did move to the upside and then came back down, down fell below the swing area, moved down toward our 61.8% target at 1.06909, found support buyers again and rotated back to the upside only to rotate back to the downside on the back of the cash carry target so we are seeing more uh, bearishness uh, here especially breaking below the 61.8 percent retracement although we're just above that level again here today so we are seeing some some hesitancy to the downside but over the last uh one uh two three days we've seen uh, sharp declines in the euro versus us dollar today's date is, or this is the fourth move to the downside but as you can see we're starting, starting to lose a little bit of momentum uh, on the downside taking a look at the five minute chart for this uh, pair uh, what you might focus on is this 100 and 200 bar moving averages i uh, wrote a post about this yesterday how the price had moved closer to the 200 bar moving average uh, here and here but found sellers we got above the 100 uh, in sideways type of markets right through here and then corrective moved here before rotating to the downside we did get back above the 100 bar moving average right through here and actually broke above the 200 mo moving average here but we fell short of the 50 percent uh, retracement of the last uh, trend leg to the downside here this is the last trend leg to the downside right here fell short of the 50 percent retracement which is always a hurdle that i like to see get above as well so although the price uh, was able to move uh, both above and below the 100 and 200 bar moving averages through here eventually gave way to the downside so that's a sharp move to the upside in the early european session or yeah in the european morning session but uh found uh, again sellers near the 100 bar moving average and rotated back to the downside so uh what i'm getting at is uh watch these two moving averages we need to get above above those moving averages in order to, to declare a victory for the buyers and stay above those levels absent that and really the sellers are more in control so although the price got above these levels we didn't couldn't declare victory because we couldn't stay above those levels so be be aware of those levels that's what uh, that's what's going to give us our clue if the momentum to the downside is starting to fade like we're seeing on the hourly chart which with a more modest decline in trading here today so that's my look at the euro versus us dollar let's take a look at the dollar versus yen and uh this uh, currency pair is not moving higher, uh, but uh, we did get a little a bump up to the upside uh, uh, in the early uh, or late, late morning session, but moving back to the downside and getting a little bit more bump up, up here. This is a much uh, wider view here for this uh, currency pair. Why? Because I wanted to uh, show this area right through here where the market moved up, and this may be one of the reasons why there is some consolidation, some, some uh, moves to the downside here in this uh, currency pair. Uh, we are seeing a number of different uh, swing lows and swing highs going back in time as you can see 
through this level right through here, 132.689, which is also the 50% retracement, up to 132.87, the price moved above the 50% retracement, and then up to and a little bit above the 132.87 level before rotating back to the downside and trading here today. We um, sort of respected the 50% retracement in, uh, as a resistance level in the early Asian session and starting to move to the downside. So the move down in the dollar versus yen is more a function, perhaps, of the tacticals. Uh, we moved up to a key resistance level, couldn't get above that level, and started to rotate back to the downside. Now, if the uh, price is going to go lower, uh, dollar go go lower in uh, the uh, the um, dollar versus yen. We're going to need we're, we're going to move back down toward this swing area between 131.29 and 131.56 we uh sort of tickled it we didn't really get that close to it but uh, uh we moved down toward it and uh if if the price is going to go lower it needs to get below that area right there i would i would expect to see some uh buyers come in against this uh area right through here where there's a number of different uh, swing lows and swing highs going back in time before rotating back to the downside and came back up to that level right here and we actually gapped above it uh, in trading on Monday. So there is there is a gap, too, which uh, may be a reason why the market is sort of uh, finding some some rotation back to the downside. But uh, this area should find support, I would expect, in the dollar versus yen. We'll see uh, how that plays out. Finally, let's take a look at the Australian versus U.S. dollar. And we, take, and we look at this currency pair. We are moving to a new low low uh, in the early north american trading and uh in that process we're getting very close to the 200 day moving average that's going to be a key level here for this uh currency pair it's also near this uh swing area now the swing area um has some uh support and resistance through here but if i were to drag this further back here you can see the importance of this level going back time through here it's uh, started started up around there so uh there is some um res some support down here in this swing area but also more importantly is probably the 200 day moving average at 1.195151 pay attention to that level on further selling pressure in that uh, currency pair on the uh, upside uh, we broke below this this swing area where we have a number of different uh, swing lows and swing highs going back in time i'll you know, just do my little arrows through here you can uh, see them yourself but uh, uh broke below it through here Came down to that area in trading yesterday, found support buyers, pushed the price up before moving to downside and trading here today. So uh, that area is going to be our uh, a key level. Not not qu uh, coincidentally, but not not really surprisingly, it also comes near the 120 level. Nice little round number, natural level of resistance and support for the story versus US dollar and other currency pairs when you get to that natural levels. So uh, pay attention to uh, that 120 level. Uh, if the sellers are going to remain in control, they're going to stay below that 120 level. Um, a move above it uh, turns the bias more to the upside. So there you have it. Look at some of the major currency pairs. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.